Test week are always crazy. You're always behind on test week. The thing about med school is you can never learn everything. Ever. In a given week, you're going to learn maybe 60% of what possibly you could learn. So then when you get to the text week, you're trying to fill in that last 40% plus learn the 60% from that week plus learn the 40% from all the other weeks. And it's just crazy. Med school is something that will take as much time as you give it. It can take 100 hours a week if you let it. You need to figure out on a daily and a weekly basis how much time that's going to be. Well, being married makes me very busy. Snacks is serving nutritious and appetizing cuisine to the kin of the sick. It's a community service. And the other thing is when you train for a marathon is you stop playing all the other sports you play. So... Yeah, I got to school at 8 o'clock, had PBL, which is our problem-based learning. <laughs> we were going over a case, which is a schizophrenic man who is on medications for schizophrenia, and that's causing Parkinson-like disease, and we have to sort out whether it's the medication causing it, or if he just has Parkinson's disease. After PBL, we have two hours left. Dr. Tiber is going to give us two talks on cortex and thalamus. In the heart, it's easy to see how an electrical potential causes it to contract. But in the brain, you have electrical impulses, and then that can turn into jealousy, and that's just really amazing. Med school is the thing that you've worked so hard for, and that you want so much, and you're enjoying it, but it never ends. I'm still working on the electrical. The main problem right now is the second mount is not flush against the wall. So I, I just want to get it done right. I'm still trying to run every day, but Pat and I from the beginning were running six days a week. Like I missed a day this week already. What's up, Pat? Sorry. Oh. This is Mike. It's not working out. Alright, let me uh, change. But you said you met at a bar, like at like an event. No, then we hung out, then we met out. Or whatever. Like oh, we didn't, we didn't met, meet. I thought there was like a bunch of people going out, and your buddy was one of them. And Anna no, was no, one no. of them. He called you. He's like, "Yo, get over here." No, see I, it. I, just, I stalked her. Yeah, the marathon's a huge time commitment. It's in another six weeks or so. It's November twentieth, maybe seven weeks. I don't know. I'm ready to do it now. I wish I could run it tomorrow. Tests are about every three weeks. There's new information right up till the exam. So Friday we'll have four hours of new information for the test on Monday, which is kind of unfortunate. My wife works 12 hour shifts, which really are closer to 13 or 13 and a half hour shifts. If she's working at night, she has to be at work at 7. She always like, you're a good cook. It's like, no, I wait till people are hungry. Um, call me before bed. Bye. Yeah, we gotta pump those tires up. Dinner with Claire is the best hour of my day. We make nutritious meals for people staying at the American Cancer Center. We've been at it for a little over a year, and at this point, there's like an excitement. You know, I don't wanna say people rely on it, but they certainly look forward to it. Sharon was there. She's sort of a leader in snacks as well. David was there. He's also a writer. Allison was there. She has no problem making the food, she just can't eat it. And Sharon's husband, Todd, 